This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed Laflam from the other coast. And we're joined today by Head Harvester Cindy Code. That's awesome. This doesn't happen too often, Bill. Wow. Well, Must be important. Hear. It. I bet it is. Huh? It, this is really important, folks. Now, here's here's what we want to share with you today. The importance of giving back. You know, we, we, benef we benefit so much from this industry. And it's important that we give back to our communities, to our... Mm -hmm. Uh, people, special people, especially we're going to talk about veterans today. It's important mm -hmm. that you give back. So that's our topic today, giving back and how important that is. And you know, landscapers are such awesome people. Hey, I, I are one, right, Bill? Yes, you are one, that's for sure. <laughs> and, and you know, we deal with hundreds and hundreds of companies and, and landscapers mm -hmm. over, the, over the years. And they're such generous people, they really are. Okay. And, and And I think uh, a lot of us just love to deal with them because of the type of people they are. So we'd like to just talk to you about uh, Project Evergreen and, and, and something that's really needed. And Cindy's gonna describe that in a moment. Yeah, so one way is to give back is through mm -hmm. Project Evergreen. Absolutely. And Cindy also serves as the executive director for Project Evergreen. So Cindy, tell us about what Project Evergreen's all about. Sure, Bill. Project Evergreen is a national nonprofit that promotes the benefits of a healthier, cooler, greener earth. And we renovate green spaces across the country in all communities. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, that is really awesome. So you have, a, I understand you have part of the Project Evergreen, uh, you have this project called, what, tell us a little bit more about that. So Green Care for Troops is our primary initiative. And, and Green Care for Troops is a great program. So it's a national program that provides free lawn and landscape services to military families with a deployed service member or wounded and disabled vets with a service-related disability. So you can see that's really important. Right. It's really right. important. Right. It's a great benefit yeah. because um, yeah. the way it works is that volunteers all across the country can register through our database and you're matched with a military family who's in need of help for services like mowing or edging, trimming, um, you know, some pruning, fertilizing, and even snow removal in the winter. How exactly does that work with a contractor? How do you match them up? Right, right. So military families mm -hmm. register all across the country, and then volunteers go in and register, and you're taken through the process. So you mm -hmm. can volunteer for you know one, two, three, or more families. You can volunteer for various services. You can volunteer for you know how far you're willing to drive to those okay. folks' homes, mm -hmm. and then you're matched. How, how long is the commitment, though? It's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. Typically, for a deployed service member, it's uh, nine to twelve months. For a disabled veteran, the way that we do it is uh, about a year. So okay. it, it equals mm -hmm. that deployed time. So disabled vets sign up for a year, and then if they still need help, they can re-register. I see. So you're helping their family mm -hmm. out while they're deployed, the vet, the, the person that's in the right. armed services. Right. So we're helping out with services, green industry services, whatever that may be, right. using some of our talents and giving back. Isn't that important? Oh, it's it's very important. And not only does it take a burden, you know, it lifts a burden off of, you know, a lot of moms are home alone, it lifts a burden off of their shoulders and provides a safe environment for the kids to go out and play and a really tranquil place for moms to reflect and de-stress at the end of a, a long day. But, um, you know, it's also really important for disabled veterans. We have lots of examples where taking care of that landscape, you know, it's, it's, it weighs heavily on the mind of a disabled veteran. Mm -hmm. If you take care of that landscape for them, it makes them feel whole again. I mean, they've told us it makes them feel, you know, a whole person. Mm -hmm. And then they can spend their time reflecting on healing themselves and working on their relationships with their spouses and their families. So it helps, wow. them, it helps them in that way, helps them materially because they really can't afford it. It's pretty tight. Their budgets have got to be tight. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the moms can't work, right, right. While, their, while their husbands are overseas. So uh, I can see where it would be really a good So cost. it's Green right. Care for Troops. So what, what states do we really need some help in right now? You know, Green Care for Troops, is, is, it's been around for 10 years. You wow, know? So 10 years. We're, we're celebrating 10 years this year. Huh. Um, you know, over the course of the program, we've had more than 10,000 military families register and, um, you know, close to 5,000 volunteers. Mm. So it kind of ebbs and flows. We, we're in all 50 states, um, so we need volunteers to register every day. We particularly need uh, new volunteers in states like where there's um, military bases. Okay. So like Texas and California and New York and North Carolina, um, even Nebraska. Yeah, we're just road, down the road from Camp Pendleton right here. So there's plenty of opportunity for you guys exactly. in San Diego, San Clemente area, or, or Orange County area to volunteer for some of the troops here for Green Care for Troops. Mm. So right. what do we do now, yeah. Ed? Well, uh, if, if you all would just look down below, uh, you're going to see a website right there that you learn a lot more uh, on it, right? That describes yeah, you, it in detail. 
exactly. You can go to projectovergreen.org and um, there's a registration and it, uh, even there's uh, frequently asked questions. Mm. So it'll take you through the whole process right there on the website. Excellent. Well, and we just gave you a great idea for giving back. Yes. Yeah. And, that, and giving back, particularly people have given to us. Wow, what a yeah. great opportunity. Right. And, and if you want to contact uh, Cindy you know, directly, uh, she's going to have her email address below as well and her phone number. You can call her, text her. I think you see it. You need some volunteers we right do. away. We do. Yeah, we appreciate all of our volunteers, so thanks yeah. for those who have already registered. But those of you who haven't, yeah. sign up today. Great stuff. Good. This is Head Harvester Bill Arm from the West Coast. Head Harvester Ed LaFlon from the East Coast. Now go out there and give back. And would it be great to give back to the Green Care for Troops program? Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll see you out there. Take care.